Mark Leonard has been in jail now for more than two years, but Leonard will find out in a few weeks how much longer he'll spend in prison for the murder in the Southside explosion case. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is in South Bend tonight. He has new developments one day after Leonard's conviction. Life without parole is a seldom used extraordinary punishment. It will take Judge John Marnoka a couple of weeks to decide whether this extraordinary punishment fits an extraordinary crime. The next time Mark Leonard comes to court, he will learn how much of his life will be spent in prison. One of the dozens of homes destroyed by the explosion belonged to Brian and Heather Hollingsworth. They want Leonard locked up with no chance of freedom. It was a terrible, unnecessary, inappropriate, unneeded tragedy. Prosecutors claim the extraordinary circumstances of Leonard's crime fit the extraordinary punishment. They cite three so-called aggravators, the use of explosive natural gas, multiple murders, Dion and Jennifer Longworth were killed, and lastly, Dion's horrible death. Witnesses say he burned alive trying to escape his basement. So to say, well, has ever, one ever been decided in a case exactly like this? Probably not, but the law exists so that uh, an LWAP is justified. LWAP is short for life without parole. Leonard's attorneys insist the prosecutor's case falls short of meeting the letter of the law. All of the aggravators, there was lack of evidence or not enough evidence to prove them. If not given life without parole, prosecutors will argue for significant prison time. I can't say the exact number um, because I haven't made that argument yet in the court but it will be a high number. Would it amount to a life term in prison? Yes. Judge Marnoka told the court that without a life sentence, Leonard's prison term could range from 45 to almost 1,500 years. Neither the minimum nor the maximum prison sentence is realistic, the judge said. He has set sentencing for August 14th. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.